Hey guys, Nikki here, and this vlog will be sponsored by Nasty Gal. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, guys, I'm excited to bring you something different. I've never reviewed for this company before. This is my first time reviewing for Nasty Gal, but I have um, watched a lot of videos of my favorites reviewing for them. So I'm going to say they are a great company because like the other people who I watch, I know don't play and they wouldn't even deal with the company if they wasn't good people. But being that this is my first time, I didn't have any problems and I absolutely love my pieces. Before we get started, you guys know I have been on this weight loss journey. I really don't have a lot of clothes right now. So right now what I aim for in my closet is staple pieces. What I mean by that is like plain pieces that I can mix and match because every time I wear something now I have to sell it or give it away because it's like a lot of patterns or it's over the top. And if I wear it again, y'all gonna be like, girl, stop wearing it. You get what I'm saying? So if you haven't noticed here lately, my most recent videos have been a lot of, I won't say neutrals cause y'all know I'm not a neutral girl but just signature pieces staple pieces so i did get two handbags from them because why not <laughs> you guys know i love handbags and i don't have any white cream off-white beige i have plenty of nude um so i decided to get a couple of off-white bags and i got this one now i picked this because it looks like the dior saddlebag of course this is what the side looked like and please believe there will be links to all of the stuff that I am showing you guys below the video. You don't have to search high and low. I will link everything. So the this is called the Faux Leather Croc Saddle Shoulder Bag in Nude. Give you guys a good close up. That's the print and the original color. And there is gold hardware on this bag. So you open it up and this is exciting. It do come with another strap, like a longer strap. So very, very good quality and this is perfect. I have so many handbags that this was inexpensive. I wanna say this is around 30 bucks, I wanna say. Um, so yeah, this is my first handbag. So I also went with another cream handbag and I have been seeing these bags float around everywhere. So it was a no brainer. So this one is called the slouchy crossbody bag in beige and it's this bag right here that you just hold like this you can hold it like a little clutch like this i don't know who this is inspired by but i know there's a major designer right now who everybody um is rocking these bags from but we gonna ball on a budget over here and this is just perfect okay it has like you just simply snap it open like that and there is a crossbody strap in here but honestly, guys, I doubt I would even wear this strap. I would just hold it real cute like this with an outfit, you know, like just pop it like that. So, yeah, that's that right so, there. I got four pieces. I got this dress that I am wearing right now. It is a ribbed sweater dress. Now, honey, now, honey. This dress, I should have went up a size. How I picked my size for them is I looked at other reviewers that I know, Pockets and Bows, Sharika B, and then I tried to like gauge off of their body shape. And so I got this dress and it's a ribbed, it is the ribbed high neck bodycon mini dress. And it is a size 14. Now this dress fits perfectly. It's just way too short for me. So that's kind of not their fault because even on the model is short i'm the one picked it but child, i don't know if i could go out in this this is like a picture only dress because the butt is hanging out and i don't even really have no big old butt like that uh so yeah just be careful with this dress if you have a big butt okay because it's gonna fit this way but it's gonna be short okay but i kind of like that huh i just gotta do that little wiggle with it <laughs> and don't do too much moving and shaking all right let's move into the next piece so i got a shirt you can never go wrong with a classic black shirt and this one is called the cotton poplin wrap ruffle top and this is a size 14 as well you know what though i think this is their 14 
honestly guys all of this is a us 10 yeah that's what a us 10 because 14 is like their 14. so all of this is a us 10 and it's just a black top with ruffles and it wraps so you can tie it like as tight as you want or whatever i have extremely large boobs you guys know that so there was a lot of popping going out but i can fix that i just have to adjust the bra that i wear the next time i wear it or whenever i wear it um but yeah i love this top it fits really really good it's not quite peplum but it gives you that flare out to like disguise your stomach area so i really really like this top that i got from them um yeah so let's talk about this this is the recycled rib slit midi skirt in black and i got this in an eight because i wanted it to be like okay okay so um yeah it said right in here no 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 yes a us8 it said in the tags y'all reading is fundamental it's just a plain black pencil skirt you cannot go wrong with a black pencil skirt i can wear this every day of the week a different type of way and nobody would even know i am wearing the same skirt i could put some tennis shoes on and a crop top i could put some heels on and a and a tube top i can put a sweater on and some boots and i can have this skirt on every day at work if you're looking at hard, <laughs> uh, you need to quit stirring that much okay but you get what i'm saying right you get what i'm saying love it good stretch material and like i said i got a us8 and then here's the exact same skirt in brown it's like this taupe type brown nudie brown so yeah now that i have figured so let's go back to the top because all i had to do was read it tell me right on here it is this top is a us 10. the top is a us 10. the two skirts are us 8s and this dress i have on is a us 10. that's everything i got from nasty girl i love the quality of the pieces of clothes i love it how i, I feel kind of skinny because i'm in some eights you get what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> no but for real i will leave all of the links to everything i showed you below don't forget to check them out let's move into the hey guys so i do want to step in really really quick to talk about my teeth um i am going to do a brief discussion on this because if you watch me religiously i have mentioned my removable veneers in almost every single video um but i do want to update you guys because in my most recent videos a lot of you guys have been saying you got your teeth done what's different about your smile da, 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 da. and it's like i've been having these same removable veneers the reason why i wanted to touch on this topic is because i do understand that social media can be very influential and that's what we are is influencers right um but i also feel like trying to keep up with influencers who are sponsored a lot who get paid a lot i don't want any of you guys to go in debt trying to be like us if that makes sense i always try to bring you guys alternatives or cheaper options and i have been wearing my removable veneers since the beginning of the virus i did a video where i facetime a lot of my friends my daughters and i asked them if they could tell the difference and i will link that video right here um that was like mid pandemic when we were like shut down so i have been having these almost two years now and they are still withholding this is my original case right here when I say they are a game changer and I did not have to spend five, ten, twenty thousand $20,000, guys, I think they're uh, roughly a grand and I have a coupon code you can use. So, of course, I'm going to link it below. Um, so, they are a life changer. Everyone is always like, I love your smile. Your smile is so beautiful, blah, blah, blah. They think I actually went and went under the knife and no i just pop them in and pop them out they really are a life changer with my pictures with my videos because my bottom row has shifted again you guys know i had invisible braces before and i am just going to show you guys why i love these so much and if you guys watch one of my other vlogs i surprised my friend with a pair you saw the molds but you never actually saw her in them so we're going to discuss that too so this is me you know my teeth are extremely small that's no secret y'all joke and say dolphin teeth baby teeth whatever y'all want to say it doesn't bother me at all um 
And so I was scared that I was gonna have that horse look with these snap-ons, and I don't. Another question you guys are always asking me is can I eat and drink in mine? I can, but most of the times I don't. I carry this little bag right here with me because the case take up a lot of room in my purse. I carry this little bag right here with me when I eat and stuff because just because you can, that doesn't mean you want to because I try to not put a lot of wear and tear on them so they can last longer if that makes sense. So I do wear Celebrity White. So let me just pop them in so you guys can see what a difference they make. Um, like I said, this is my regular smile. Nothing extremely wrong with it. My teeth are just extremely small and my bottom row is crooked. So this pair I'm gonna put in right here is the original pair which are, this pair is the mold of my teeth. So, so there you have it. See how it just lifted my smile? Like, and you can't tell that they are snap on because they don't look like one piece. They don't have gums with them that are extra pink. They literally just snap on your teeth. I don't have a problem talking with them or anything. So, that's that. All right, so I absolutely love these, and these are a backup pair. And as a matter of fact, I do have a backup. Oh, sorry, I'm reaching in the wrong case. I do have a backup bottom because when I lost weight, my teeth shifted. So I do have a backup bottom to this pair, but this is also the mode of my teeth. Okay, so removable veneers was so kind to send me an entire different set that's my teeth straight at the bottom and oh that's it i mean i love these uh, don't get me wrong but that set is it so i'm gonna pop them in real quick so you so can see they sent me a different ca case this one is more round instead of like oval and um that's how i tell the difference in which is which so so Oh, I love these, okay? I absolutely love removable veneers. I love their customer service, everything. I Do I not talk about them every single vlog? I got to because y'all have been buying them. Mm -hmm, y'all have. <laughs> so this is my favorite pair. It's my teeth. What they did was just molded the bottom straight. I don't know how they do it, but they did, and it's different. And it also makes my teeth look a little bigger. And don't give me like that gummy smile I have because my teeth are so small. You know what I'm saying? So, enough about me, honey, because I could talk about me all day. Let me show you guys a few before and afters of my friend Renee. Due to COVID and it's spreading like wildflowers and stuff. And she's a principal at a school. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Baby, just send me the pictures. Just send me the pictures because I don't, I, I try to go around as less, I try to stay away from people as much as I can. Of course, I got to go to the store and stuff, but you know. So she just sent me her picture, so here you go. guys i will leave the link below i have a hundred dollar off coupon check them out y'all okay if, if you want your teeth done or you just want that veneer look everyone is wearing this is the route to go you don't have to pay a lot of money um you don't have to fly anywhere else to get them done cheaper just get your little set and pop them in and out girl <laughs> you know but okay <laughs> so i will leave the link below let's move into the vlog All right, guys, if you know what this is, <laughs> you know what time it is. I have to prep for a colonoscopy and endoscopy tomorrow. Ain't nothing fun about this preparation, you know, but got to get it done. All right, so boom, it's almost 6 o'clock. This is exactly my mood. My little baby cousin, that's my screen <laughs> I got to take 12 of these. I got 20 minutes to take them, and they are big. Let me just show y'all. I gotta take all 12 of them. 
this I be hold on. This blue, hold on. There we go. Jesus. They gonna try to vlog for y'all, but you gonna do it with your phone? Yeah. <laughs> Let's look at this vlogging thing. It's been about um, a little over an hour. I'm still waiting on her to come out, but um, we are now at an hour, and um, we'll see how she's looking when she gets out there. Hopefully, they'll be calling here in the next few minutes or so. So. Okay, it's a. Uh, 9:40. Now and they just called and said that they're getting ready to bring her to the front. So I'm gonna drive around there and get her, and we'll see how she feels when I pick her up. I'm high as a kite. <laughs> that man next to me told him, "What y'all give me? Can I take some home, boy? What you gonna take the whole anesthesiologist home?" He will ask for 500 questions. Can y'all give me a whistle? Hey, y'all give me a wheelchair. I gotta do this, y'all. I gotta chip in me. Hello. 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 What you feeling so funny this morning? What they find? They're trying to hear That's it, that's all. I'm so blessed because I was listening to what the, they was telling people to the left and right of me, and they got a lot of problems. I don't gotta get a colonoscopy no more for five years. Hey, tell me what to do about the internal hemorrhoids. I like, guess nothing, huh? Yeah, well, they ain't bleeding no more. They only bled that one time when you went for your daddy first. I gotta go. I'm too fucking sleepy. <laughs> So I feel okay. Besides the fact that I'm extremely hungry, but my chest feel like somebody is stabbing me in it. I can't even drink water because of this Bravo monitor they put in here. Oops! Oh, it'll be used by the time this video go live. And what's crazy is they usually put it in for two days, but I gotta do mine for four. I sure hope it fall off and I poop it out before the four days because this hurt. But anyway. I'm going to use my Macy's gift card I was sent. They canceled my order this time. It's going to be smoke in the city. All right. I will link below. <laughs> I need some more of this today, shirt. <laughs> I couldn't feel nothing when I was eating them crackers and that juice. Now I feel like. It needs to be a heart, an ice box where my heart used to be. Cause it hurt. Booba back there giggling. It's not funny. Your head hurt? Mm -hmm. You hungry? Gotta have a chicken biscuit. Mm -hmm. I gotta chew this thing up 500 times for I swallow it. They in the bed! I just put it right here. <laughs> oh, good night, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Don't mind me, y'all. I just got out the bed a minute to check the mail, and this shit was beeping nonstop. Cole came running in here. I'm like, what the hell wrong with you? She's like, it's beeping. You're too far. Okay. Got a few things in the mail. Another Apple Watch bag.
Oh, yeah. Is it a coach one? I felt like I needed a coach one to go with my coach bangles. <laughs> I'm in a little slow motion today. Wish I could feel like this every day because every day I always mm -hmm. feel like I'm so all over the place. Oh, hold on, because my best is loud. Let me get her views up. She's so inexpensive. You know, I. Y'all know I refer y'all to uh, her and another person, and she like half the price of the other person. Is there, is, they, um, is there a wallet over there? That's what it looked like. So I feel like that'll be cute with my coach bangles. And, um, my phone going out. Oh. Is that cool? Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I put that in the wrong spot. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, ye
Then, baby, got me a 512. Because, baby, I'll be running out of memory. Hey, yeah, how y'all been doing? It's hours later. Excuse me if I'm looking a little rough. Um, I did eat some tacos, chicken tacos. They told me to eat stuff that would normally trigger my acid reflux so they can test and see what's going on. Feeling alright. I'm still feeling a little drowsy, but I'm watching good videos and don't want to go to sleep. But this shit's still hurting. It's not like right now, it's not hurting, but when I drink or eat, it do. So I'm watching that babe ba vlogging. Oh, <laughs> uh, you hit the camera the wrong way. When you vlog, you're supposed to turn it this way, or it's long. Oh. It's just me and my people. Cause watch what happen when I leave it. Put on the months. I'm gonna walk out the road. No, it's not. No, it's not. It take a minute. No, cause I was just laying in the bed and started going out. I got the camera time to start like this. It's the next day. Your good sister ain't showered or nothing. <laughs> I bet I still smell good though. Hold on, let me get my glasses. I'm sitting here. Um, yesterday, when I got from the doctor, I ate three chicken tacos i ate some cookies i ate i ate because the doctor while i have this monitor on told me to eat triggering food so i'm eating chocolate mexican food so that it can produce the acid and they can see exactly where it's coming from and why so today all uh, today i'm feeling great this was hurting me so bad yesterday this chip it's like right here anytime i swallow water actually liquids hurt more than me swallowing food which is crazy i don't know if i told y'all but i insert a picture of what the chip looked like right here on my esophagus and you guys already saw the monitor it was hurting extremely bad yesterday i took tylenol didn't really help all i can take with gert is tylenol so it was just hurting like it seemed like every time I swallowed and it had to go past that part, somebody was like stabbing me or pricking me right there. I don't feel that today. I do still feel it right there, but it's not as it's not painful at all today. It's just annoying. Um, I haven't used the restroom today, which is fine with me because from 6 p.m. to 8 a.m. two days ago, or day before yesterday, I went nonstop. <laughs> So I need a break. She raw. She got AD on me down there. TMI, but y'all gonna get this work. Okay. Um trying to see what else going on. Slight vertigo today. Like if I lay down over here, I start feeling like I'm moving a little bit. But what I do to come back that is just drink water and get up slowly and walk around a little bit. Ooh, damn. Pain just shot through my stomach, live and in action. What I am afraid of is this has to come out in my stool. So I have, I'm i really like nervous of how it's going to pass and how it's going to feel less it's passing. Don't have to worry about that till around tomorrow or Thursday. And yeah, I'm doing good. I, I want to, I, I really thank God because I was really, really ex extremely nervous. I've never been put to sleep. I think I told y'all that I was nervous about that. I was nervous about the results. My mom and dad's side has a history of counseling. You guys know I've been sick out for now two years. I feel better, but I'm still not myself. I tell you guys that all the time, but I'm guessing now that's because of the menopause. So I love my new doctor. Love, 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 love. Ever since I switched over to my new doctor, this doctor has not stopped until they figure out what is going on with me. I just got my results right here. I will insert them on the screen. I'm going to really do it this time. I'm going to really, really do it. <laughs> insert them on the screen. And um, all that came back was GERD. Still, no colon cancer, no stomach cancer, no esophageal cancer. No, I don't even have gastritis. I don't have IBS. I don't have Crohn's. Like, I was scared I had all of that because that's just how, you know, my year has been. All the parasites are gone. There's no sign of H. pylori. 
God is good. So now I have to get this GERD under control and I have internal hemorrhoids from, you remember when I was bleeding when Nicole went out of town for her dad's funeral? That was internal hemorrhoids, which I'm going to have because until I started taking, um, ooh, Bellway, I will be constipated. This TMI, so turn off. Y'all know I'm going to keep it real. I will be constipated. And <clears throat> so that's why that was happening. Anyway, so that I've been worried ever since that episode. Even though that's been a year ago now. Golly, that's been a year ago. Oh, man, Nicole's dad's death is coming up. And she's kind of been awful. Like, we've gotten into it two times just then today because I just feel like her head is not here. Like, it was a couple times I had to, like, can you give me water? Can you hold my IV bag? Can you, can you, can you? And I'm just like, Nicole, where's your head at? You know I can't do this stuff for myself. Anyway, that just made me sad. Because I've really been hard on her, but I really don't have anybody. And so my thing is, I'll be like, if you can't handle the responsibility of making sure I'm eating, sleeping, taking my medicine, I'm good when I'm sedated and all that, just let my auntie or my cousin or something come over. And now that I think about it, her head ain't really here. Whew. But all my results are good. Um... I just have to, I got some estrogen, I think I t showed you guys that already, to um, help with my menopause because I'm not getting on hormonal therapy. And the reason why this chip is in me is so that my doctor can, you know, I'm trying to get my esophageal splinter tightened so this acid won't come up at all. So that's what they access. And so I might have to have another procedure because this has really took a toll on me and this has really told me a lot because I've been having problems you can go back years and years and years and I've been carrying ginger ale around I've been I can't eat that because it's gonna backfire I've been going to the hospital because my chest was hurting and this whole time all this has been GERD I kept working 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 ignoring it I just drink a ginger ale I was even drinking lemon juice at one time to combat the acid if you guys remember that my OGs and if I would have went to the doctor years ago it wouldn't have got this bad so listen to your body if y'all don't seen a perfect example out of me listen to your body um I think it was already bad and getting those parasites and H pylori just phew, shot it on off but i am thankful because believe it or not a lot of people get h pylori and they come back or they get it again so i was kind of scared that my doctor was gonna be yes sir okay hold on yeah somebody brought me some i was really scared the h pylori was gonna be back in other words so huh so, oh, I, I got some. Let me take this out, guys. Yeah. I'm gonna just cut that whole clip out because I got some Sherry's berries. I'm gonna turn these things though. <laughs> Did I break them? Oh, how can you break strawberries? I'm not doing something right. Look at the strawberries. They got ladybugs. Okay, let's do it like this. Books. <laughs> and the card in here say, Oh, Shad. Oh, light. Girl, in the, where's the light? Oh, whoa. Ladybug seem to confirm we are headed in the right direction. As I head in the new direction, I need you right by my side as a matron of honor. Matron of <laughs> We be turned up. <laughs> it's some insiders in this car, but oh my gosh. Hell, motherfucking yeah, baby. Let's go. be going down the air like this. <laughs> 
Lord really loved me because I was really ranting and it just really made my day. Something else too, but I'm going to show y'all that my iris been an eventful week. I'm going to wind down. I might be back later. I might not. <laughs> yeah, my cousin's so mad, bro. She cussing and everything. Because I put the post on Facebook and was like, yes, y'all look what them strawberries supposed to look like. And they look nothing like... Look what they look like. So she like, it fucked up the message. It really didn't, but I get it. When you pay for this, you want it to look like this. She even want me to take the post off Facebook. I'm like, no, because it's the meaning behind it. No, cousin, but you need to get your money back. Because my strawberries look nothing, very much nothing like this. Update. It's the next day. Let's try this again. Yeah, I still look the same. I just shower, put my gown back on. Look at y'all, boy. Say hey. Say hey. Who you talking to? Hey. <laughs> Let's try this again. I'm almost scared to open this because my cousin had a whole Brazilla moment. I, I put it in right here. So listen, if this web and stuff is already not stressful enough, like, and I'm just now getting started, I don't know nothing about none of this. I get a message saying, check Facebook. I look on Facebook and I'm like, what is, this? baby, what is that? And I look, I say, oh, hell no. I know that's not what I paid Sherry Berry for. Let me call them right now. Excuse me, ma'am. I know that you didn't do this personally. I know this was done locally. I appreciate the delivery, but y'all got to come back and pick that up because that is not what I paid for. I wanted ladybugs and that shit looks like some, I don't know. But um, yes, this was a proposal for my matron of honor. You only get one time to do it and you definitely ruined it. So I need it fixed. So I was actually getting my first chance at practicing my bridezilla moments. Thank you, Sherry Berry. Okay, the same note. <laughs> I know this right here from yesterday. I can do this forever. How many y'all tired of hours and hours, y'all? The song is beautiful. I can't get it out of my head, but. Whew. I'm scared. I'm so nervous because my cousin's, my cousin's gonna flip if this look like Beatles instead of Ladybugs again. <laughs> Ooh, I'm scared to open it. Oh. Yeah, don't mind that vent. I promise you it's not dirty. I'm living an older house, and when we go to scrub, the paint come off, and I ain't painted it. Yeah, I promise you. I promise you, because it irks my soul looking at it myself, but that's just the paint rubbed off. So, <sighs> yes, my house. Come on now, focus. All right, all right, we on the something today because I was scared my cousin was gonna blow Dallas, Texas up. They done sent the dang things again, y'all. <laughs> what are we gonna do with all these strawberries? This is like a horror movie, like, because y'all know I ain't really supposed to be eating chocolate, but what's ironic is my cousin was nervous to send these because she know I'm not supposed to have chocolate. But my doctor specifically told me to eat food that triggers me this week so this monitor can see what's going on. So, my cousin was not happy. I don't know if I came back and told y'all that. She says it still ain't it. And she's full Brazilla mode, I guess, because those strawberries look way better than the strawberries yesterday, but she's still very unhappy. So, I guess they just gonna keep trying. I would, I don't know. I'm scared. I bet they like, oh no, I'm not gonna even show her. Oh no, oh, absolutely not. Oh no. Bruh. Oh, this thing hurting in my chest. Oh, no, no, sir. No, no, uh-uh. 
So I'm headed to get sugar. I ain't been out. I ain't drove since I had the procedure. I have on peach smash from Alt. It was some controversy behind them, y'all. They said something about the owners of races. I don't know. You'll be surprised how many owners of companies are races. I'm not trying to take up for them, but I got the shit now. I'm going to use it. So, sorry, I got to clean my glasses off. Like I said, I haven't drove since I had my procedures. I am really, really drowsy or my energy is low and i was thinking it might be dehydration from all the extra i had to do i can very much see it being dehydration so i've been drinking gay oh that smells so good i love peach i've been drinking extra water gatorade etc let me get on and get shoes because i'm that mama that like to already be out there because when you don't already be out there, your kids be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Now bring your ass on outside and let's go. So, a little short of breath. Look lethargic. I'm real lethargic. Tired. Thirsty feeling. So, I know I'm, I need some fluids in me. So, I'm going to do a, a, put a liquid IV in my drink. Which, you know, one of those is like drinking three bottles of water. And I will leave my discount code below. And let's go. I really wish I didn't have to go get her, y'all. But one thing y'all done learned about me in these two years, I ain't been feeling well. I got to keep trucking. Mama got to keep mommy. I don't have no backup plans, y'all. So, let's go. See, this is the kind of stuff that aggravate me. I'm not even supposed to be driving. And I'm here. And she talking about some one second she got to see the trainer. No, you need to come on. Your trainer can see you tomorrow. I'm so sorry. Y'all hear the band? They banding. The band is banding. <coughs> well... I mean, watch, I gotta wait on her and she's gonna come to the club with 15 friends need to ride home. So now I'm finna have other people kids. It's my responsibility and I'm not supposed to be driving. Did y'all hear me say that? Look, if you, any one of my homies and you can teach you how to drive, I will pay you weekly and you can use my truck. You ain't gotta worry about turning your shit up. Like, this ain't gonna do it. She needs a car like next week, cause yeah. All right, so the girl. The doll won't miss put it on. <laughs> we won't hood fish again. We couldn't tie this fish up, ain't we? Sure is. And I told y'all, they told me to eat trigger and stuff. I'm scared as hell because trigger and stuff makes me sick. And who wants to be sick? But I only got one more day. Tomorrow, Thursday? Mm -hmm. I only got one more day to wear it. So Whew. after I eat all these trigger and foods, I can go back to my non acidic, non, you know, diet. But as of right now, we're triggering. We're triggering this acid. Let's go. Y'all girl injured. Her knee. So she got to go to training every day. Because track season coming, baby. We need that knee right, baby. We need scholarships. But anyway, this is where we get... I don't want to think I'm recording him. Hold on, because it's me. So he's still right here. So I'm just recording. This is the place right here. Good hood fish. Okay? All right. Her ass want the hood food, but don't want to get out and get it. No, ma'am. You getting out today because the last time I got out, you don't want the shit. Get your butt out. To the mama, they be so mean in here. Okay, well, give them the money and get out, get up out of there. You ain't got to stay in here 12 hours. I ain't getting out. All right. And then don't have a mask. How do you not have a mask and y'all have to wear a mask at school all day? To my husband's disposable and she threw it away. Okay, so now I'm gonna have a different type of attitude because um, why you don't have a mask? One more day of this here. Who they think I wear this around my neck though? Who? It's in my purse. Oh wow, so they think we real fat tonight. I got steaks instead of fillets. Whoa. 
Oh, buddy. I'm back up in this thing. Me and my people. So, I did get the pivot earrings to go with my denim and diamond purse. We here, honey. Um, but by the time this video go live, the giveaway for these will be over. So I'm gonna do a TikTok real quick and I'll be right back. So I just set up on my um one of my pillows and I'm gonna do it with my phone. The other ones I did with my camera. Or oh, did I? All right, guys, so I just threw on this infamous black top because I had to record something really, really quick. So I do have another box from High Quality Fashion Boutique. You guys know I love High Quality Fashion Boutique. I talk about my Danielle dress and Dana dress that I get from them all the time, all the time. Just took one off to do that TikTok, the purple one. One of my purple ones. Because <sighs> y'all know I got three of them. So we're gonna open this, but I'll be back. So let's see what I was sent. I was just saying how, I don't know if that's gonna be in this vlog or last week's vlog, cause I just been recording, recording, recording and I'm gonna split it up. Um, I wanted some pen sets. What are the freaking chances guys? If you watched my last vlog, I was just saying how I was gonna order these from her then somebody else sent them to me. So I was like, maybe I should order them from the person that sent them to me. Then she sent them to me in colors that the other girl or company did not. What? That must mean I'm a good person, y'all. Because I didn't, oh my gosh, I didn't get to order last week because I was so, you know, my anxiety and stuff was so high from the anxiety, from the colonoscopy and stuff. And she sent them to me. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put, oh my gosh. What are the freaking chances? That vlog is not up yet, so she had no idea. These are in the large. So she originally sent me the shorts, right? I wore it in Austin. You guys love that picture because I wore it with my cross, my coach crossbody and my coach slides and i was saying how i wanted to order more but with pants and so i hadn't ordered them yet and another company sent them to me and now she sent me and it's this is weird this is weird because she literally sent me different colors from what the other company sent me and that video is not out. It's literally still on this camera. Oh my gosh, I'm so blessed. It's like I put that in the universe and it came back to me. That always happens though. We gonna see a million by next week since the Lord is my best friend and do whatever I say. So you saw the caramel, the olive, this is the black. I love these, y'all. You just throw them on. Cute little bag, cute little boots or shoes, and you out the door. Oh, my God. I cannot even believe this. I'm literally speechless. Thank you so much, High Quality Fashion Boutique. I'm just a little weirded out because it's like, how? So, there's something else in here. Oh, it's a note. Hi, Nikki. Please let me know how... These dresses fit, they run small. Okay, I sure will. So, this a dress, honey? Honey, 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 honey. Who said it? Here's one of them. There's not a tag in here, but it's a cute little queen. Is that queen? Because <laughs> that's what the fuck I am. Yep. And then, I don't want to open this. It looks the same, but it's not. It has a little color at the top. Thank you so, 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 so much. I know I get her a lot of business and she just randomly sent me stuff. I didn't ask for this. The other video is not up, so it was, it was just perfect timing. Still some this burgundy. So, thank you so much. I will leave her link below. 
I have a discount code. I will make sure she reactivates it. Y'all go show her some love. Black owned business. Fast shipping. The clothes be smelling good. And I appreciate you, boo. <laughs> I'm really, I'm like, dear Lord. Uh, let me just go and pray right now because he be listening to me. Since last night, my ass ate some fish, fries, peppers, hot sauce, and ketchup. We triggering. Now I'm scared. I'm scared. This shit finna kick in and damn near kill me. I take my blood pressure pill. Excuse my nails. I had a nail appointment this morning but didn't make it. She rescheduled it for tomorrow. I just didn't make it. Um, I guess I'm still tired. Um. Yeah, so I am about to. Tonight I'm going to try to do my hair. Or as should do it. And um, do a nasty girl mention. So I can get y'all some vlogs going because I got like four four um vlogs with the clips on my phone. I just haven't edited it. I just haven't edited it yet. Hey those Zucker, y'all know. Look. Mm. That chip's supposed to fall out by them. Well, I guess I'm on a 96-day monitor. So, it'll fall out tomorrow. This should be beeping out of the night. But, yeah. I'm warming up me some fish. I'm going to try to block the grease off of it. And then tomorrow. Tomorrow, I ain't going to lie. Oh, I'm trying to use the restroom. But I Googled and it said that you won't use the restroom until, like, three days after. And it's three days today. Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah, today is the third day. I didn't go. Monday the procedure happened. I didn't go Tuesday. Didn't go Wednesday. So I should go by today. If I don't, I'm going to have to call my doctor. Well, I guess I won't because I got to take that month to bake tomorrow. So I'll just be like, I ain't went yet, bro. I'm locked. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to try to get the day going, y'all. Yeah, but it's a lot going on. It's always a lot going on with me. Some stuff going on with Shug. Some stuff going on with my son's death, and I'm I'm just here we go. I be on a the high, then I get knocked back down on the low. Y'all know how I go. Yeah, I slipped this dress back on from yesterday because I ain't going to do nothing but get shoved from school, and it still smells heavily of that peach smash. Dang, it smells good. Oh, so I got a fajita bowl. Um, I can't do this no more. I can't. Oh, tonight like last day anyway. I feel way down. I feel tired. I feel exhausted because I'm eating all this shit. My body ain't used to anymore. This is it. I only want some salad and salmon from here on out. Well, look who's eating our beef. This is my mind. So is in front of you. I'm down right now. My cilantro bowl, I threw that mug in the trash. Then nobody want to bite the every bowl like lettuce and cilantro. So this was my option. You see, I got what I got. Eat it. Chicken nugget. Days off. So we about to run some errands. This is the original Danielle dress I fell in love with. Okay. I need to do my hair. So I just popped this blue wig back on. Dior sandals. I love this dress because it's pocket, but when I put my phone in this pocket, it weighed down. And I'm wearing peach mash again from out. Coach, you can count your days. I mean, I don't count your days because I ain't going to quit shopping. I'm cleaning out my closets last night because I know I'm moving a lot of stuff to a storage because I don't want my expensive purses in my house anymore. I'm trying to push it up. Y'all tell me why. This pair of shoes is two left shoes. One a six and a half, one a eight. How did I never figure that out? Because I just be shopping, shopping, buying like 30 per at one time, not paying attention. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I bought these the summer. I think I bought them when I was in Vegas. Y'all finna take them back though. I never have a storefront, guys. Y'all ain't finna put y'all hot to out of my stuff, then leave. <laughs> Let me stop. Girl, wait a minute. Let's go. Whew. Hey. All right, guys. You guys remember I bought them for like my birthday, and I don't have a receipt in there. Oh, 
So they're just gonna have to give me the value that they're worth now. But I'm gonna get this planner. I got a lot of them, not that style, for Christmas and gave them out as gifts. I'll show y'all when I get home. Crazy part is these journals just went on sale on coachoutlet.com and I bought more because I literally gave all my female cousins the plain version for Christmas and then one of my cousins I forgot about and gave her mine. So I replaced mine, right? And then end up getting a, this a whole different version today. Yeah, we done been everywhere and I ain't even picked up the camera. When we went to the hospital, let me make sure my nose clean, y'all. Yeah. We done been to the hospital to uh, drop the monitor off. We went to Salada, but we decided to come back because I'm trying to catch, to check my P.O. box. We dropped off the bride of wedding planning journal. Now we're headed to check my P.O. box and drop off the packages we just, oh, I didn't vlog when we went to work, did I? Then we might double back around and go to Salada. <laughs> <laughs> but Nick, both of us was looking at each other like, not even hungry. <laughs> and then I just ate a um, granola bar, so I'm sure not hungry. But I, I really can't tell if the chip is gone. I think it is because I know my esophagus. Let me lower the camera so she can see. My esophagus might still be a little aggravated from it being on there, probably, huh? So I can't tell if me swallowing is just like a slight aggravation or it's like off. I don't know. But I'm waiting to see it in the toilet bowl. <laughs> Ooh, the things I done went through. Get me right though, huh, Papu? We got things to do. I feel like all this health stuff has altered my business. Like, I can't drop stuff and work like I need to with YouTube either with everything honestly you know what i feel like ever since nah i can't say that i feel like ever since we done moved into this house man now my energy level has been like it is <laughs> let me turn the camera on because i gotta tell us some going to get my weekly flowers they don't have no baskets <laughs> i mean we don't need them but how much the roses reduced to? I could just get two red roses. They five ninety nine, huh? Mm -hmm. Let's get it, y'all. So I got all of these for thirteen dollars. If I would have bought it, I already like this. Not on clearance. What was they starting at eighteen? For just one. Oh, well, I'm telling them, I ain't gonna ever be able to find no flowers. <laughs> this is who I'm sick of. Every time I come home. <laughs> Every time I come to the world for gas, more strawberries. Truth is, I'm tired. Sherry Berry, you dropped the ball. Stop sending me these motherfucking strawberries at this point. It's like y'all torturing us at this point. Oh, sorry, I had to make a Facebook post. But flower time, let's get it. over here looking up hooking up the extended monitor hold on don't put the coils up oh go ahead do your thought oh well i'm back this is an interesting vlog right like because that's what i finally got <laughs> finally got after i paid they canceled my order they sent me a mascara and an eyeliner now i have to order it from macy's it's the two faced better than six perfume <laughs> Macy's didn't get no samples. Let's see, they gave me a Shutterfly gift card. Ten dollars off DoorDash, which I'm an Uber Eats person, so I don't even use DoorDash. Yeah, my nails hurt so bad. <laughs> they so fragile. So oh, I thought I already smelled that. That's this. <laughs> that smells so freaking good. It is. I got it this way so you don't see a sticker. 
sparkling grapefruit, but it smells so like peachy to me. I'll leave it below. If you don't like candles and you don't want to leave stuff in your house with it, it's the way to go. So let's see. I, I know because I sent it back to Macy's. Oh, it comes with a little better than Sex Mascara. I know I'm bright. <gasps> Look at this bottle. Come on, Too Faced. I can't even do a TikTok because who go do a TikTok with these nails? Who gonna get on there with these baby nails? Toe of nails. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Now, here's the kicker. I'm gonna spray too much in case I don't like it. Mmm. Oh, wow. Be back in about an hour. Let's just see if my loving wife likes it. She don't be like nothing now. She don't like nothing but BDK root smoking. She loved it. She like go get it out the thing and smell it for the heck of it. You ready? Mmm, looks nice. I like it. Mmm, I like it a lot. Do you smell a peach in it? That's why I got it. I think peach is the middle note though. I have to dry down a little bit more. It's two faced better than six. It's good. It's good. Get it. I'll link it below. So y'all, let me tell y'all about the morning I done had. And yeah, I look like what I done been through. So first of all, this chip is just wanted to bother me this morning. Like like a dry cough in your throat. It, that's what it feel like. A dry chip just stuck in my throat. So I had to keep drinking water because it was just doing the most. So I get up to go to the nail shop. I thought my appointment was at 12. Like I get there, her mama looking at me like, because y'all know the girl who did my nails only like 17, 18. I'm, you know, I'm helping her build a clientele and helping her, you know, build her skills. So I'm like, okay, let me call her. I call her, child. The lady said, Miss Nikki, I told you 1.30. So I'm there a whole hour early. So I came back to the house. I helped my sister-in-law with my daughter's aunt uh, get ready for the concert tonight, you know. So I get back in the truck, 1.20 to be there at 1.30. Look at my phone. She said, somebody's still doing her lashes. Can I come at 2? I'm like, dang, no, because nail techs be taking a long time. And I got to view three more houses at 3 for Airbnb. Air, that came talk. Airbnb properties. So, okay. She was like, you can come tomorrow. I'm like, nope. I got more properties to view tomorrow. And I got to record tomorrow. I have to. I got like seven vlogs due. And I don't have, I got to record the sponsorships parts that go in them. So I call Lisa, which is where I was taking sugar, where I used to get my feet done. They say Lisa got COVID and she ain't going to be back for like seven more days. I'm like, is it, Lord, is this you telling me to just go get some press songs? Because I will. And be, be real, real cute. Baby, why I'm just, let me do this. Why am I just sitting here in my car trying to figure out what I'm going to do and it just starts snowing? flurries everywhere i swear to god i can't show y'all because i'm on my street but y'all tell me why it was 72 degrees yesterday y'all saw what i had on my favorite dress and some slides and it is freaking snowing look at she knows herself looking out the window <laughs> she like the little old lady on the street Shit to my note. Yes, I'm sitting up. Hold on.
So Nicole filled in and I missed two viewings. So I'm trying to rush and make it to the third one. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. My nails cute though. These were Glamazon Tay inspired. All right, bye. I gotta try to make it. It say I'll be there in five minutes. Oh, uh-uh. This ain't it. <laughs> no, sir. How much was this one? Who ain't getting out this cold these snow flurries? Nicole, can you put my gas? Y'all see her? She right there. It's cold. Uh-uh-uh, us Texans like heat. This too much. Bro, what is this butter doing? <laughs> oh, it's so cold. I wanna go back out. I'm gonna work, so I'm not stepping outside this house. This is from Sandra's Bunnets, by the way. I, I just got it on real weird. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it. Who wanna smoke with us? 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 Being that I got the best daughter in the world, I came home to salmon, rice, and spinach, fresh spinach, and, not canned. And rolls. And rolls, cause I'm hungry. Child, y'all look at Frank. From Frank, what you doing, boy boy? Hey, cutie woody. He got a new home. Period. And goodbye. All right, so I found the prescription that passed. That's what I was really looking for. I'm organizing the thing and look what I found, y'all. This is the good old days. Like, bro. Oops. I'm gonna start putting my YouTube ideas in here. This is like an external charger. I got shirts, cups, everything from YouTube when I used to get invited to their events all the time. I miss them days, honey. Then look at this, my old journal, y'all. This is so old. Let me show y'all how old this is. Oh my gosh, just I don't know why this feel emotional. Like I'm quitting YouTube or something, but um, I used to write like all my Mac stuff down. <gasps> so I didn't repeat purchases. This is wow. Now I don't even wear Mac lipsticks and stuff. Oh my gosh. I feel like this is so sweet. My doctor gave me a thank you card. So cute. Oh my gosh. Hey, boy, boy. You like your new tank, boy, boy? Here your grandma. He trying to get you. You hear me? Come on, baby. Look at all your room. Oh, this tank going to be hard to clean, huh? I was thinking because I saw this girl on TikTok, she used the water hose. Oh. I could just open this window. And do it like that? How you gonna empty it? Yeah, that's what I gotta figure out. <laughs> oh. Look at him, he chilling. Really be the junk drawers for me, and it'll be right back full next week. The class, but I think Tuesdays there is no cycling cluster. Like what? Uh. Maybe I'll wait till I get to a red light while I'm trying to look at my phone and drive. Yeah, if I earn 